we're gonna be turning this into this in five days. This is day one out of five of us building an arcade and a barn. So let's just get started. The process begins of putting all of this into the car. We went all the way down to the warehouse to start putting machines on the back of the trailer and then we both forgot the hitch. We drove all the way back home, we got the hitch, and now we're gonna drive all the way back, load up the machines, and go bring them into Fright Nights and start turning the machines on, making sure they work, because we haven't even unboxed some of them from Alibaba yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go now, because Eli's gonna show me the playlist that he created for the arcade at Fright Nights, and I'm not gonna get copyrighted. First stop of the day is the warehouse. We are loading up a trailer with however many machines we can fit on this thing to bring into Fright Nights. We thought day one was gonna be busy, but keep watching to see how each day just gets filled with more and more things that we need to do before opening this arcade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven minis that we can see. <laughs> We're excited for this one. And then this one you guys have already seen. The ones that got poured on in the rain. Okay, so we got all the machines that can fit so far on the trailer. We'll come back for a round two, but we put some bubble wrap in between the minis that way the glass doesn't shatter because the glass is a lot thinner and to just protect the machine. That way they don't get all scratched. So we did the same thing here in between. Uh, got this comforter on the back of the trailer. This one was already wrapped up from Alibaba. We haven't even tested it yet. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna be doing a whole review once we get all these machines up and running, a review of all the Alibaba machines coming in another video. How many minis? We got two, four, six, eight. Wow. You're king of 11, the claw machines. 11, there's three in the car. Oh yeah. So we have 11 minis, three down here, that we're taking into Fright Nights right now, and then three large machines and a one medium slime machine. Good job. We're gonna at least have to get gas like once during all these trips. <laughs> we're dropping this off at Fright Nights, then getting more machines from his mom's house, then more machines from his dad's house, then we'll come back to the warehouse and get more machines. So today is gonna be a busy day, but just to show you guys like what goes in behind the scenes. If you're curious and doing something like this, just takes a simple trailer with some bubble wrap <laughs> and a strong boy. <laughs> And Eli, I'm sure, is thrilled. There's a bunch of pallets that came from when we ordered the Alibaba machines that he is going to be using to build his helmet house. Yes. Yeah, you're excited about that? I'll show you guys that in another video. Once it gets closer to the end of October, he'll be building that and I'll show it off because he does a really good job with that. I was joking with Eli that it looks like the clown car because we have all the machines on the back and then in here it's filled to the top with plush. So I think that's pretty funny. Why are the hazards still on? There's a big festival, I guess, going on down by the fairgrounds where we're dropping off the machines. So now we're in traffic to bring these machines here. Oh my gosh, the prison gates are open. <laughs> I know. But Although I don't know why. I've never seen the gates open. Maybe that area doesn't have people staying in there. Oh, don't hit this bicycler. There is a lot of space to work with. Literally, so much space. Oh, you got it! Okay, so this is crazy that this is actually becoming a reality. Just we're working so hard for this, but we're so excited. As you can see, we brought in a buttload of machines. So that's the trailer trip number one. We have four more to make. One for the big triple claw, one for the three large claws, one to his mom's house, one to his dad's house. And that'll be a total of five trailer trailer stops. And then maybe tomorrow we'll come in and we'll wipe down all the machines, clean them up, do every setting for every machine, and then start filling it with products, setting it up. We have literally like a huge space to work with. So it's insane. So this ended up being the only trailer trip of today because there was a concert going on and we weren't allowed to come back and bring in a bunch more machines. So we went back home and decided to do some other work besides at the barn. All right, so it's been quite a long day. It is currently 10.57. Um, we had all those machines that I just showed you. We brought in one trailer's worth and we have five more trailer spots to make tomorrow. So we'll be more busy tomorrow, but we sat here the rest of the night thinking about everything that we're gonna have to do, like, it's just a lot. We have to order product, we have to clean the machines, trailer the machines all in, and we have five days to do it. Today was the first day because we leave for Texas for like a bodyboard competition. So we have to get everything done very fast and it's 11 o'clock and we're eating dinner. So we've just been really busy, but tomorrow we're hoping to get our day started at 7 a.m. So we'll see you guys bright and early and very busy tomorrow. And we need to go to Five Below and buy some Squishmallows. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that we need to order like little cameras to put in our coin pusher from Amazon and like I'm thinking to order. I meant in the arcade. I was telling you earlier, I meant buy cameras to put in the actual arcade so we can watch it while we're in Texas. Oh, that would be cool too. We have a big Amazon order to look at cameras like Eli was saying. Um, I'm looking into like a DJ laser type thing. <laughs> we Stop. Don't need. No, we do. It'll no, be so don't. fun. <laughs> yes, if you saw. No, it's mm. gonna be fun. Yeah, no. You'll understand. Yeah, I'm looking on Amazon for that. What else do we need from Amazon? We're ordering some products. Halloween plus. Yeah. yeah. I'll show you guys kind of everything we're ordering, how much it's costing and stuff. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> that way, <laughs> that way you guys can see, you know, that it's possible to start your own arcade randomly if you want. I mean, we're doing this in five days. It's stressful. We definitely should have planned ahead. <laughs> It'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> So trailer stop number one of today, we're beginning to clear out the garage. So we had two large claw machines here and then a double and also the two 12 foot skeletons. But before we took that in, we looked on Amazon and at other vendors to buy from because we have 20 mini claw machines with not enough product and we needed product delivered fast. So that's why we didn't order that off Alibaba. If you guys are interested in buying the same stuff, I'll have it linked down below. But we got that all sorted out and ordered and now we're moving on to the second trailer stop for today. We're loading up all these machines that came from the mall location which if you haven't checked out that video go ahead and check it out it's a very entertaining video and a big long story time as well but anyway we're transporting these machines that were originally at the mall into the fairgrounds there's a lot of teens families and drunk people that go to this event where all these machines are going to be so we have, we have a feeling that these machines like a key master and coin pusher are going to do very well but definitely stay tuned for a huge collection of this arcade and comment down below which machine you think is going to be the most profitable last time it took three people to lift this key master and it was a struggle. In this business a year and two months and now we're finally strong enough to do it on our own. <laughs> or brave enough, really. Eli was holding the whole thing as I like lifted it up and it was just scary. Okay, anyway, we're gonna, yeah, we did it. And it's like three o'clock. We're doing our first trailer trip of today. Oh, to first one, first and a half. First and a half, because the first one wasn't completely full. But then we have like two trips to make to the warehouse. Oh my gosh, I think that's all we have to do. Yeah, look at this, the garage, finally, you can walk in here. Bring in all these boxes of Alien Head plush. Honestly, the first two days of this whole video is just going to be us transporting. You are? I can lift this all. Third, fourth day is gonna be cleaning, decorating, setting up the settings, putting all the prizes in there. And it's exciting, are you excited? We have an arcade. This is like the first step to getting our own arcade. Really proven for ourselves. <laughs> all right, I'll help you now. <laughs> so now we trailer tripped this all the way back to the barn, and we began just showing my dad kind of what it looked like, and then dragging in more machines and more brought boxes and more product to begin filling this arcade even more. Now, as you can see, it all looks the same from last night when we left it, but we're going to be bringing in a bunch of stuff and just kind of planning out where we're putting everything, unloading all the machines, and trying to get organized. because Eli was busy during the day and I can't load these and drive a trailer by myself. We start at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven hours? 
Oh my gosh, I guess it adds in a lot of time. Like strapping down the machines takes time and driving back and forth to the warehouse and then to the fairgrounds took a lot of time. A fall mushroom. That's cute. Get the pumpkin pie, get the corn. <gasps> <laughs> that is so you. Can you get it for me? <laughs> oh my gosh. I love cows. Get There's the corn everywhere. Look, corn, it's corn. corn. We need a lot of these though. That's a lot of money. Well, starting a business, building an arcade, it's a lot of money. Say hi. Hi, how do I have no money? <laughs> Welcome to the barn. Eli's been working on some machines over here. We have a lot of work to do and I'm gonna just give you a walk through. We got the line of minis. Four are set up in settings. And then I'm working on this one. All of our other product. Right, Eli's hopefully coming tomorrow. Hopefully. We have to set up all of these. My mom's on her way now and she's gonna do the easy stuff, like unwrapping the stuff with bubble wrap. And then we just gotta program every single machine. Which programming these machines takes way longer than you think it would. Because you have to make the strength and everything fit for the certain product that's in the machine. So it just takes a lot of time. I'm gonna stop recording so we could turn on the speakers <laughs> and jam as we work. Yep, this is it. It's a mess still. We'll keep you updated. Guys, this is crazy. Look at how annoying this is. So, in these minis, you have to cut each zip tie, so there's three. And they're so tight, like how on earth do they expect you to do that? I mean, we're doing it, it's just hard. And this one's hard, because there's, like you, I said, the black cord there, and like underneath it, like over there. But you don't want to cut and mess up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven more to do. So with each machine, you have to cut out the zip ties, set up the coin acceptor, or the, that's what it's called, right? That sounds weird. And then also coin set up, coin validator. And then you also have to set up the bill acceptor, which that's easy. This is the thing that takes a, well, up a lot of time. And then of course, setting up the settings, like claw strength and everything like that. That way they're not really rigged. We're getting there. So I stepped outside to enjoy the sunset at the fairgrounds again and now we're just organizing where we're going to put all of these machines because we wanted to put them back to back but if you can see on the mini claw machines the cord sticks out so they wouldn't be able to actually touch back to back. So we decided to put them around the little pillars that they have in here. We put four around each pillar and just organizing where we're placing everything was honestly a little bit stressful because we had so much space but we didn't want to put our machines up against the walls of the barn just in case it would rain and then damage the machine which we think it should be fine in here but for that reason we liked bringing them up closer that's it come on you sound really cool go low oh wow. come on it's your song At this point, we both had way too much energy and we were just dancing around the barn, having fun, and Eli was trying to teach me some random handshake high five thing, but anyways, now we got back to work. Please work. There's a lot that goes into opening up an arcade, like those simple things like taking off the film from the prize chute to cleaning the machine itself. Guys, Eli stole my live. <laughs> my battery is about to die. So now we're moving on to restocking the machines and filling it up with product and then also testing the machine, setting up the strength, setting up every little tiny thing in settings. So 
So this is one of the most important settings in settings and it's called the strength time. So that means the time that it actually picks it up and then drops it. So for example, see how it didn't drop it right at the top but it dropped it later during the price shoot? That looks good to a player because it's not just going to drop the second it comes up. That looks really rigged. Plus, it's super fun when it's like this because the claw just swings around and the player can actually win it before a payout rate because it could swing into the prize shoot if they aim and grab it correctly. Winners are players and we always say that and it's super important to let your customers win prizes because one, it's good advertising for everyone else standing there watching, it'll get them to play and two, it makes them happy, makes us happy and we can afford to give out prizes. All right, it is the next day because me and Eli stayed working at the arcade for way too long last night. But we're now going to count the money. Okay, so he already counted two of them. The mini claw made $42. And now we will count the big claw. Look at that. Yeah, that's always nice to see. Last night, me and Eli stayed at the barn till maybe like 1.30 and we went live <laughs> on TikTok for a little bit, but I'm gonna go live earlier today. That way just more people can join. It's coming along. It looks really cool with all the lights off because the machines just light up the whole barn. And then there's like string bulb lights that look really cool. We're gonna stop by Home Depot and get floodlights. He has two 12 foot skeletons and we're gonna do like a dark purple and what, you want blue? The dark purple, because that kind of matches our ET vending. And then we're also going to Staples to pick up a banner that I just ordered. Anyway, yeah, we've been really busy with the barn. We needed some extra money, so we just collected from the ice cream shops. We'll have to collect from the laundromat, both laundromats when we come back. So that would be in like another three videos. If you want to see how much our whole arcade business actually makes, I posted the video last week, it's right here. So you can go ahead and watch that one if you want to see it, including the laundromats. I'm gonna stop talking so he can concentrate. Hundred ninety six for the week. That's not bad. Last week it did two hundred two. Oh, so yeah, it's going. If down. we can, no, it's not. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Six dollars. If we can get around two hundred a week for that one, and then even two twenty five a week in total would be perfect. Yeah, including the large claw machine and the mini claw machine. Two thirty eight. So we're above. Two thirty eight. Why you want it above two fifty? I thought. I think 225 for the week for both machines would be good and anything above that is perfect. How much would that make in the month? That would be 800, almost a thousand. Nine. Yeah, 900. Well, it's just because usually our mini claw machines at other locations make way more, but it's because we also have that large claw machine. Okay. So, I mean, I'm not complaining with 900 a month, but let's say it was 900 a month and then minus the commission split, you would make 720 and then minus product cost, what, 7%? Probably. So we're making a profit of six hundred forty-eight dollars. That's good. Theoretically, yeah. Nice. That's well, if we stick with that goal. That's how much you'd make in a year for like collecting once a week. It's crazy. <laughs> Almost eight thousand profit. That's what one little ice cream shop can bring in, guys. That's pretty good. Brought back our pizza and sat down and ate it in the barn as we continued to work. Here's how the banner turned out. It looked pretty good in that picture frame. Now it's just a matter of figuring out where to place it. But now we're going back into the little storage unit that they have back there, cleaning off the tables, setting up product. That way we could have it on hand to restock and just getting organized. currently almost 
2 a.m. Well, it is coming along and it is 2 a.m. almost. Tomorrow is the last day. We do all the finishing touches and then we go out of town and it opens. So I'll give you guys the finish update tomorrow. Don't you think we're done? Don't you think we're done?